Uh, hi, welcome to today's video. Then I'm going to tell you how to do this hook you know, effect that I just saw. So it's a very simple thing to do. What you just need to do is that you need four clips for that. This is the first clip. What you just have to do is that uh, you just have to come like this and proceed like this. This is the first clip that you need. After that, this is the second clip. What you just need to do is that you just need to give the action like this. You can see that this is the last frame of the action from here. I have propped it. From here, what you just have to do is that you just have to crop it and you just have to take a screenshot of it. You can see there is a screenshot you can see over here. And after that, uh, this will be the screenshot you can see. You just have to remove the background of that particular screenshot. You can do it in any background removing gap or through Google, you can search it. I will also put a uh, link in the description so that you can do it easily if you find any trouble in that. So going forward, after removing the background, well, I will just tell you for how to do it. But this is the third clip that you did over here. What you can see is that this should not be present anything like this in the background. If there is something present, you can just zoom in a bit, little bit. But you need a clip where there should not be present anything in the background. Right. This is a small clip. Even if you took a small clip, it's totally fine. You can just duplicate the same clip as the background is not changing anything. So you can just duplicate it and it's fine. Right. This is the third clip. And this is the fourth clip. What you just have to do is that you have to put in the effect like this, the ending effect. This is the landing effect that you uh, can put in like this. And again, at the starting of this frame, at the very starting frame where you are just upon landing, at that frame, we just have to take a screenshot of it and you can again remove the background of it. So this is the basic thing that you just need to do. There is nothing much to do. You just have to put this four things and it's done. It's a very simple thing to record. And after that, let's just see how to do with the rest part of it. Only if we just look at the speed, it is pretty high. If we just want to decrease the speed, you can decrease it as well. It totally depends upon the length of the clip that you're having. If I'm putting 7 speed, it will be coming like this. See, it is coming pretty fast, right? After that, what you just need to do is that you just have to bring the other clip. You can see this is the second part of the clip. You can just put it like this, right? But these are the second and the third part of the clip. You just have to put it like this. After we put it, it will be visible, something like this. And uh, this is the second and the third clip. As you can see, it's already fast and this action is already showing. What you just need to do is that just to make it a little bit better, you have to put in the dissolved foundation. You can find it very easily in transitions. And after that, what you just have to do is that just have to add it in between these two clips. Decrease the speed according to whatever you want and whatever you clip this. And now you'll see that it will look more realistic. See, just to render it a bit. Yeah, see after rendering you can see that it's looking pretty cool and smooth, right? You are getting that effect of that dissolved effect over here, right? So this is the first thing that you need to do after that. What you just need to do is that you just need to bring this third clip over here where there is nothing new background is there. If the clip is too small, what you just need to do over here, you can see this will be coming like this. If the clip is too small, you just have to copy the clip and you just have to paste for several times like this the way that I'm showing it to you. See, after it's wasted, the length of the clip is getting pretty high, right? That is what you need. And as the background is clear, so you won't be finding any much difference in that. But then you have to just bring in the fourth clip in this one, where you are getting the landing effect, right? So now you just have to bring in the fourth clip like this and it's stuck. So after these basic things are done, what you just have to do is that you just have to put in the screenshot at this point when you see that the person is vanishing, right? At this point, you have to put one screenshot and just keyframe it. And then at this point, when the person is coming back at this point as well, you have to put another screenshot and just keyframe it. I will tell you how to do that. So first of all, for that, we go to stop video. We already took the screenshots, right? We just have to put it exactly at this point. Right. And just follow me what I'm doing. Currently, you can see after the screenshot is coming, it's matching like this. So what you just have to do is that you have to match it to the point. Right? Just have to put in the last frame. This is the last frame of the clip. Just take the screenshot to that particular point. Right? Add a keyframe or transformation to that. Just put in a transformation. So I suggest you can put it like this, it will create a little bit nary of it. And after that, what you just have to do is that uh, just decrease the size of that screenshot. Like this. 
and just in the end the keyframe what you just need to do is that you just have to put another keyframe like this decrease the size of it and you just have to put in like this now you will see that the little bit of that effect has been created sync see now once you feel that it's not that fast what you can just do is that you can decrease the size of the screenshot even more so that if you want it to be very fast you can decrease the size of the screenshot and it will be even pretty fast and now you can see that it's pretty fast than before if and if you want uh, it, the screen effect to not be there it just increases the size like this and it will be dark so this is the somewhat the final result of uh, the first frame just have to put in some blur effect to that that i also will tell you how to add that and apart from that the smoke effect as well so that it will look more realistic and after that what you just have to do similar you just have to put in the second screenshot as well similar to that what you just need to do is that the very first frame when you see the lending is happening at this point you just have to match in the screenshot just take the screenshot a little bit further decrease the size of it just have to decrease it like this decrease it as much as possible if you just want to get a pretty fast of it put in a keyframe like this decrease the size of it again like this and in the last keyframe add in the transformation this ring they missed to oh yeah bring it to the last frame and just have to put in the transformation like this you just have to increase the size and match it with the clip that is behind you can see uh, you can just do it like this and now it's done even you can put it a little bit like this because it will create a more blurry effect now it's really visible to update like this you just have to render it in between and after rendering this will be the final result you can see that uh, the lending effect is created even if you want it to be pretty much faster than this, you can just do it just by decreasing the size of the screen shot. This is the basic thing that you need to do. After that, your total effect will be created, will be visible, something like this. So this was the basic effect that you need to put out. Now I will tell you how to add all the other effects that will make it prove more realistic, right? So let's go into that. So after seeing this, this is the final result that you can see. The after seeing this, you can see that there is a lot of the effects that also have been added, like this smoke effect. You can see there is a sound effect that has been added, and apart from that, there is a smoke effect and this lighting effect that has been added. I will tell you in very quick steps how to do it. So, first of all, what you just need to do is that uh, you have to get in the smoke effect. You can get it anywhere or download it easily from uh, any websites like Pixabay or Pixels, like that. You can find all these smoke effects very easily. I will just put the link in the description. You can find it easily from there. Now what you can just do is that you have to put in the smoke effect like this. You have to increase the smoke effect to 5.2 or something. Whatever you want according to the clip that is present. But one thing that is the most important thing that you need to do is that you have to put the smoke effect exactly at that point when the, uh, when you see that the screenshot is moving ahead like this. At that exact point you just have to put in the smoke effect. Similarly when the uh, image is landing like this you just have to put in the smoke effect in between so that it will look pretty clear and make sure that you are increasing the speed of the smoke effect according to the clip as well but uh, if you increase the speed of the smoke effect it will look more realistic and after that what you just need to do is that you just have to put in the blur effect like this if you see this is the blur effect that I have added in this video right if you look at that initially if you remove the blur effect I will just remove the blur effect in that so you can see this is the blur effect that has been added. If I just hide the blur effect for a second, if I will show you, moving normally like this. But if we just put in the blur effect, it will give it a more realistic look like this. You can see that the blur effect is creating a lot of difference in that. Similarly, you just have to put in the blur effect in that particular area where the image is moving forward. You just have to put a marker with it and you can just add it like that. Similarly, when the image is landing at that particular point as well, you can put in a blur effect if you want. That will look more realistic. And then the file clip will be done. Nothing more is to be done. If you just want to add the lightning effect, you can get it like this. This is the thunder and lightning effect. Uh, you just have to put in like this and it's stuck. You just have to add keyframes and according to whenever the position of the person is, you just have to adjust the lightning effect like this. You just have to add in a keyframe and adjust 
to wherever the point the person is coming and according to that you have to just adjust the lighting and add one keyframe and then it's done. That's pretty simple and easy to do. And after that everything is done, you just have to put in three sound effects that is the whoosh effect that you can also get it from Pixabay easily. You can find the link in the description, you can just over download it from there. What you can just do is that exactly at the point book when you see it, the, there is a movement, you can just put in those sound effects like this. This is one sound effect. When a person is moving upwards, you can see you can put in a fast push effect like this. And again, when the person is landing down, you can just put in the push effect and everything is done. This is a pretty simple clip. It looks pretty difficult, but it will hardly take 15 to 20 minutes to just make the whole clip. So if you want to learn more about VFX like this, if that will more details, then please subscribe. Thank you so much.